Studying in Germany can be free of charge and actually very often because most of the universities in Germany are publicly funded. That does not mean that they don't have any costs. Obviously, they have to pay for the professors, for the facility, for everything. But who is paying for that, actually? That's the public money, the taxation, that is paying for covering the costs of universities. Not only for local students, not only for EU students, but for any student from any nationality and any country. This is great, right? You can study in Germany at top-notch universities with a degree that is worldly renowned. Anywhere in the world, they recognize your degree and you don't have to pay for that. So there is almost no tuition fee at German universities. However, you should understand that with this free education comes a little bit of expectation. What is the expectation? What does Germany expect from you? The expectation is that you would become successful, that you actually would be serious on your path. So there is no red carpet and full support like a private university, but there is actually a general path like an autobahn there, which you need to understand how it works, where it takes you to, and you need to learn its regulations. And this course is exactly for that, that I show you how does the system work. We focus on the Studienkolleg in this course and you learn how to enter public Studienkolleg in Germany. After entering the Studienkolleg and finishing it, it's usually a year of time, right? A year of preparation. You are able to select any university in Germany and enter your desired dream program. There are a little bit of conditions there, depending on the program of choice, university of choice. The better your performance, the higher your chances, so to speak. But generally, there are opportunities for everyone there. There are still costs, which we will talk about in the course, which is your living costs, not studying costs. And even for that, you can work in Germany. But apart from that, financial matters are not that much of a concern. What is the matter of concern is that you would be hardworking and you apply yourself, you get engaged really in your studying in Germany. I can promise you one thing. If you are serious about this, you will be successful. Germany needs you as much as you need Germany. It's a mutual transaction, a mutual relationship. Germany has an old population, is a big population. 80 million of people live in this small country. A lot of them getting old. So Germany needs experts and especially international experts because first of all, Germany is an export oriented country. So they want to sell goods, cars, industrial products and goods to your country. It's important that you come here and learn and adapt, learn the language and be a bridge between Germany and your country. Furthermore, Germany would love to have you here to stay. They invest in you so that you learn everything perfectly in Germany in the hope that you stay actually in Germany. This is amazing. When I went to Switzerland from Iran in 2009, at the Swiss embassy, I had to sign a paper guaranteeing that I leave the country upon finishing my education. In Germany, it's the opposite. They want you to stay actually. They do everything possible for you to stay because they need talented international graduates, international students who become skilled workers and experts. Stay serious in this path. Stay with me and let me teach you how to do all the steps in front of you. And I promise you'll be very successful.